Hey guys, so now it's time to check out some GeForce GTX 590 overclocking performance. So, if you are like kind of dude that likes overclock stuff, hmm, should you do it with the new GeForce GTX 590? Well, it's it's a very good question. It's, it's a very good question. And we have some games here. First, we have Crisis Warhead. You can see that the GTX 590. Uh, it, it's a little better, or you know, a little bit. They're very close to each other the, the, when I'm comparing the Radeon HD 6990 and the GTX 590. They're they're very close to each other. So yeah, but in Christ Warhead, on no anti-aliasing and no AF, you can see that the GTX 590 a little better under this test on version 1920 times 1200. We have the game Just Cause 2 running on DirectX 10, max quality 8 times AA and 16 times AF. So it seems like this card is very good. This GTX card very good at detailing because always when you have a lot of like details turned on, it seems like it's always you know pushed up to the top. Uh, GeForce GTX 590 here on the top running at 60 FPS and 40 as the lowest at the resolution 1920 times 1200 and you could see that the yeah this is the original you can see this is the overclock one and you can see that this is the not overclock GeForce GTX and you can see that you get like a, a very small boost like uh, 2 FPS you know you just get a very small boost in the game just cost 2 but still it, it's it's on the top here it's on the top here when you overclock it and then we have the game Alien vs Predator DirectX 11 max quality 4 times AA and 16 times AF and seems like 6990 beat this new overclock GTX 590 here as well and yeah remember we, we this is not the overclocked HD 6990 that would probably be you know totally insane but 60, 77 FPS and 44 FPS as the lowest here on the overclock GTX 590. We can compare that. Yeah, you know, it's it's a couple of FPS more. Not like a very big boost with this overclocking. We had a game Metro 2033, and also here we could see you get like five more FPS, five more FPS, and three more FPS here on the lowest point, and it's not in the top. Even the 6990 is beating this card here. So how did they overclock it? Okay, so they went from uh, 607 megahertz per GPU to 670 megahertz, and they could, you know, remain a stable core clock there. And also, they overclocked the memory, the GDDR5 memory, and they clocked it at 1,800 megahertz, and it counts on 1,707 megahertz. So in total, you're going to get 3,600 megahertz of DDR instead of the other one, the default one 3400 megahertz and it seems like you know this is still I mean when you overclock here you get 607 mega 670 megahertz per GPU but if you buy one of those GTX 580 you will get like default 772 megahertz of core speed and 4008 DDR frequency so uh, you can really see that Nvidia have yeah they you know turn it down so they can keep the card quiet and you know keep the power consumption low so yeah so it seems like this overclock made 10 to 3 percent in a boost performance boost in the game just cause 2 alien vs predator and metro 2033 and the game crisis warhead so yeah so uh, i think we could say that the uh, radian hg 690 it's still the better card yeah see